Welcome to DevKit Weekly. This week, we're going to be checking out BeagleBone AI. So these days in computing, it's really all about artificial intelligence. And in that capacity, one of the original open hardware development kit uh, vendors, BeagleBoard, has stepped up to the plate with BeagleBone AI. So BeagleBone AI is the latest in a long lineage of uh, development kits from BeagleBoard.org. Um, that includes BeagleBoard, BeagleBone Black, and now BeagleBone AI, which differs from its predecessors in that it packs a ton of processing performance. So all of that processing performance is actually packed into one chip, and that is the TI Satara AM5729 SOC, which you would be able to see, except it's hidden here under a heatsink because there's so much going on under the hood. In fact, there are two ARM Cortex A15 cores, two ARM Cortex M4 cores, as well as dual TI C66X floating point DSPs, four EVE embedded vision engines, a dual core PowerVR 3D GPU, a Vivanti 2D graphics accelerator, an H.264 video encode and decode subsystem, which supports 4K resolutions at 15 frames per second, as well as two programmable real-time units that can be used for the precision of applications that involve motor control, etc. And tying this all together is two and a half megabytes of level three RAM on chip that's really important if you're trying to do some complex video processing or even computer vision applications uh, that are based on neural networking because you have to access memory so frequently. Assembling that on-chip memory is an additional 16 gigabytes of high-speed EMMC flash as well as an additional gigabyte of RAM so you really have all of the resources you need uh, to get some of those AI applications up and running quickly at high performance. So really what all that horsepower means is that you've got pretty much um, an industrial PC grade uh, system here, except it's in a development kit form factor. And one of the highlights of BeagleBone AI is if you're familiar with BeagleBone Black, it's pin and mechanically uh, compatible. So you can see the 46 pin headers here. You can use these to uh, hook up to uh, BeagleBone black capes um, and interface with other designs that you've already been working on so long as they're within the BeagleBone ecosystem. So continuing to move our way around the board here, you can see an RJ45 connector, um, which is used for a gigabit ethernet, and there's an ethernet 5 that's located right back behind that. Um, a first for DevKit Weekly, surprisingly, but I'd expect a lot more to come, is a USB Type-C super speed connector here, um, which delivers five gigabits per second of bandwidth and also accepts a five volt power supply. So this can act as both a host and a client, giving you a lot of flexibility when you're developing. On the other side of the board, you'll see a USB Type-A host here, and all of this um, is in addition to a micro HDMI connector on the flip side, uh, which pairs nicely with the onboard uh, touch controller, which is hidden back here behind the USB uh, Type-A host. For serious developers, there's also a PMIX, so you'll be happy to note that. And of course, it really wouldn't be a beagle bone without the ability to access it wirelessly. So you can see um, up here, we've got a 802.11ac, uh, 2.5 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, as well as Bluetooth integrated on the chip. Now onto the software. So of course, being a championship of open source hardware, all of the design files and board schematics for the BeagleBone AI are freely available for download. You can access them on the BeagleBoard GitHub. If you want to get up and running with Young Pup right out of the box, it comes pre-flashed with a Debian Linux image. New images are added to the BeagleBoard.org website uh, frequently, so you can check back there for updates. And what that means is as soon as you're ready, um, you can use this in a number of ways. You can either tether it to a PC or because of some of the I.O. we mentioned earlier, you can actually hook up um, a mouse and a keyboard and use this as a, your host PC itself. And then the wireless that we mentioned earlier allows you to uh, uh, port in and get running uh, coding on this thing using IDEs like Cloud9. Of course, all your favorite languages are supported. 
But because it's a BeagleBone AI, you're probably interested in developing AI-based solutions, and there they have you covered from the software angle as well. So there's a TI deep learning library, which includes GAFE models, um, an SDK, and other resources um, that are supported natively with the BeagleBone AI to help you get up and running really quickly. In fact, one of those is an OpenCL uh, custom model that provides a set of fixed functions you can API into, and those are used to really accelerate and get the most performance you can out of those Eve Embedded Processing or Embedded Vision engines that we discussed at the top. The BeagleBone AI is really intended to let you see how you can apply AI in the real world pretty much everywhere around you. So that could be any application from like light industrial to some automation, maybe home automation, or even some industrial automation, robotics, and so on. So the point here is really integrating all of this functionality into the BeagleBone AI, which only costs $125. Um, if you know of any uh, board out there that lets you um, evaluate this many different components at that much horsepower um, for 125 bucks, I'd be really interested to know. If you're interested in learning more about the BeagleBone AI, you can certainly find it out on the beagleboard.org website, or like I mentioned, you can go to their GitHub, which is github.com forward slash beagleboard, and there's a bunch of resources there that you can download and, and learn more about this little platform. Or if you want to purchase one of these, um, like I said, it's 125 bucks you can get from Newark, Mauser, OKDo, okay and other authorized distributors. However, since it's DevKit Weekly, like you know, you can get your hands on this one for free by filling out the form, which is linked in the description below, and perhaps you'll win the raffle and we can send this little doggy off to you. Let us know what you think about the BeagleBone AI. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments, so please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, list any questions or suggestions in the uh, comment section below. Other than that, this was the BeagleBone AI. You're watching DevKit Weekly, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.